racing officials make their way out on a well, it's been an interesting weather morning. We had a lot of rain this morning, Lenny. Thankfully, looks like we'll get a full game in. Yeah, it's going to be interesting to see how these teams handle the breeze. It looks like a small delay as they're going to need those sight screens maybe just moved over a little bit. My yeah, boy, I'm looking forward to this, Lenny. It should be this really is good. going to be a very yeah. good tri-series. And, and lots will wonder what's on the line here. We heard both captains talk about their, their journey towards qualification for the next World Cup. The USA have the golden ticket. They finished in the top eight. They'll be at the next World Cup in India and Sri Lanka. These two will aim and strive to qualify for it as Kingma is all set to go. Starts with the leg side wide. Look at the wind immediately impact that. Scott Edwards puts one down on his home turf on a special day. It's uh, a birthday. Uh, yeah. Happy birthday to Scott Edwards, the birthday boy. I can confirm he went out for a nice birthday breakfast this morning. Uh, and he did did good spirits. So Johnson on strike, Badger at the non-striker's end. And again, that's going to be four. That's where the wind is piling down and that's why he doesn't even move in the chase, does Kyle Klein. It's going to be leg buys, but a nice start for Canada. The first runs off the bat will come past a diving Michael Levitt, and it will come a little bit aided by the breeze. It's kind of pushing across that way. Hacked into the leg side. It's going to be four. Probably not Johnson's most stylish stroke. The bottom hand comes through, but it is effective, and it's his first runs with a boundary. Oh, shot of authority on back of a length, and... Almost a standing sweep. Or associate. This has gone miles up. Paul Van Makeren is going to have a very, very challenging catch. But he's made it look easy. And Johnson hits four. And now he's gone. And there's a roar of delight from Kyle Klein. Look to get to the leg side again. It probably was a top edge. It flew off. This is a very good catch. This is Agua. Going to be two and two. It's another leading edge, is almost a carbon copy to the dismissal. Klein continues his exceptional form and the return for Ryan Campathan. It couldn't have gone any worse. He's gone for a golden duck. Edged and going to be edged away for four. Not where Curtin intended it. He's an aggressive, dynamic player. He's at a horror start to his captaincy with the bat. Oh, now that is a beauty. It's as good as you'll see. He's got three and ten deliveries, just shaped away, maybe held its line. It's Klein's world at the moment. We're just living in it. Oh, that is very special. That is ridiculous. That is an absolute seed to cop to start the T20s here. I've got to thank Burtis to Young as Curtin goes slog sweeping over the leg side. It's an immaculate stroke. It's hitting with the wind. Curtin's there, left-handed to left-arm off-spinner. 50's now come up and it's crowned with a boundary out towards the hospitality tent. Some fancy footwork out there. Leon Cachet is getting taken apart on his debut. Curtin takes him on from the first ball and Durham has put it down. They're never easy off your own bowling, but this came at a very catchable height. Well, he has big, big mitts, and he'll be disappointed. It was hit pretty firmly, Lenny. Let's have a closer look. Wow, it's a tough one. Uh, one in ten, maybe. Now, yeah, that's the slog sweep I was talking about, and that is going to be as plumb as they come. He's so difficult to play that stroke against because he's just so tall, and the ball keeps coming at you, aided by the wind behind his back. I think that's a very, very easy decision. Howard. Now, for half a moment, the man who's at mid wicket might have thought he had a chance, Saqib Zulfikar. Gone straight to the man at backward point. And Leon Cachet has a maiden international wicket. Thacker was trying to give himself some room, trying to get it over the ring field on the offside. But all he could do was pick out backward point in a moment. Leon Cachet is not going to forget. Well, goes for an adventurous shot, and it's a beautiful shot. Gets some wood on it. It's going to go away for four. As Curtin hammers this one away. Well, that has gone like a tracer bullet. It's going to be 50. And the first for Nicholas Curtin as the captain of Canada. This has been a sensational lock. It's really been a tale of two innings. Nicholas Curtin and everyone else. How good has this been? Yeah, brilliant batting. As the slog sweep comes out, gets a good piece of it, and it's going to go 
onto the road. That could be into a little canal over there. That's a great strike from Ravinder Pal Singh. Durham finally gets hit for a boundary. Yeah, actually gave that one a little bit of width and that freed the arms. Beautiful cricket shot. There's Ravinder Pal Singh. Oh, thank you very much. It's a slog sweep off Paul Van Maker and it's a shot that we wouldn't have seen in a month of Sundays during the ODIs. It's ever so effective for Canada though. Well, he got every piece of that. He could clear any boundary. And he's put another one down. Smashed back at him. A slightly different kind of caught and bowl chance to the one he dropped earlier in the innings off curtain. But again, it's the same bowler, the same batter. Hacked across the line and hacked very effectively for four more. Luckily, that youngster who's walking along with the football goes maybe two or three yards in front of him. Not sure if he was looking. Any disaster averted over there. And Ravinder Pal Singh gets another boundary. Oh, and he's going to pump it down the ground exactly where you'd expect Curtin to go. I think this is a really costly misstep from Scott Edwards. Inside edge, okay, it's fortunate for Curtin, but it's back-to-back -back boundaries. 150 plus, very much on the cards. Canada, a quite brilliant fight back. He has smashed this and he smashed it all the way for six. What a sparkling cameo from Ravinder Pal Singh. It was almost up above his head where he's played it from. And that 150 is back on the cards. Very expensive in his final over here. You can keep adding to the runs because it's going to be six more. The perfect finish from Canada for the first time, maybe on this entire tour of the Netherlands. They are jubilant. The 150s come up. They'll finish with 152 thanks to a massive final over. It could well be enough. It's the biggest over of the innings. They've jumped all the way with 21 off it. And a final flourish from Ravinder Pal Singh. A sensational lock two from Nicholas Curtin. It's game on in Kampong. We're all set for the chase, here we go. And that's where the breeze is going, down towards that direction of the ground, and Canada utilised it brilliantly in the 20th and final. And you'll love this. And look at that, oh, how good a delivery is this? Not out is a decision. He was convinced, an outstanding take from Sherius Mova, who has been exceptional with his glove work throughout this tour. And the umpire says it's hit the pad. Oh, what a delivery this is. This comes back a long way. But he's clattered through the covers. And the outfield should be quick enough for it just about to get to the boundary. It's the first boundary. Ripples of applause around the ground. Finally, O'Dowd gets something going. And it's a glorious stroke. It's gone all the way for six. It's a funny old game. You're none off 11, and then you hit the most amazing shot over extra cover all the way. Yeah, that's a that's a lovely shot. What a way to open your account. Good strike from O'Dowd. It's very nearly going to go all the way. And what a piece of fielding. <laughs> oh, take a bow, sir. Oh, that's oh. monstrous. The biggest of the day. An almighty strike. That's what Levitt brings. And Heiliger, who's probed away on that kind of a length during the ODI series with good reward. He's deposited all the way for six. And deep backward square where this is going to go towards, but he won't be able to cut it off. It's going to be one bounce four. Goes into the air. I think he's going to get away with it. And it's actually going to run away off the turf and run for four. Oh, that's monstrous. Oh. Wave goodbye to that one, Corey. All the way for six. Oh, brute, brute power. And Levitt has really made a name for himself at the top of the order. That is smoked. That's a big six. Edged away and taken. And O'Dowd is furious. Can't remember a reaction like that from him. It's come off a leading edge, and that's really well held, athletically leaping forward like a salmon, wasn't he, Dylan Heiliger? Good catch, and the crucial breakthrough for Canada. 
Obviously, in Europe, you've got a lot of teams improving. That's a beautiful shot from Levitt. That might actually go for four. And it will go for four, I believe. It's a little bit, yeah, it will be four. So they weren't too short. The time, it's being signalled now. The batsman's still not sure, but four runs to the total. Yeah, not credit to the fielder in terms of the fielding uh, effort, but his honesty, he knew it had touched the rope. Driven away. Oh, that's a stylish stroke, and the diving effort in the field will be in vain going to his weaker side. As now goes down the ground, he's got a good piece of this hitting with the wind, and it's going to be back to back boundaries. They're part time off breaks that Curtin bowls. Now the slog sweep. Well, he's taking him apart here. Four, 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 another good piece of fielding outside the rope. To slap down the ground and Aaron Johnson is not the swiftest mover and he's gone to his left he's got there and then he's ended up in a heap it's going to be four more yeah lovely shot from Levitt this over really breaking the back of the Canadians and sliced away and it's going to be sliced away for four more Vikramjeet Singh he's off to a hot start he's into the 20s already a fee where has oh. this gone it's gone miles up, but it's into the wind. This could be a chance, and it's put down. It's going to go all the way for six. We said we wouldn't see many sixes hit up this direction, but that is right out of the middle of the bat. Oh! oh. oh that was bossed. 54-50 up. That was hammered. Murdered. Absolutely murdered. And the biggest cheer of the day, not just for the maximum, because it's also a 50. Michael Levitt has been a phenomenal discovery for this side. Vikramjeet Singh <laughs> just keeps going. It's not where he wants it, but he'll be delighted with the results. I think this has gone all the way. It's another six. Gordon being slashed away. No control, really, but the wind just piles it all the way over the rope. Oh, Just plant the egg all over my face because Vikramjeet Singh and Levitt are batting on different planets. Harsh Thacker comes back into the attack and Vikramjeet Singh plonks him over the rope. This has been a sensational innings. He's got to 46. Completely untroubled. He's attacked almost every delivery. It's oh. going to be 50. And it's going to be the fastest, I believe. We're going to get that checked in Dutch history. In fact, it's the second fastest behind just Stefan Myberg. And that was against Ireland back in the T20 World Cup. This has come from 20 balls, batting on another planet with five fours and four sixes. Vikram Jeet Singh, well, you are a superstar. And he's been bowled after that highly entertaining 50. Well, what a knock it's been. Entertainment. Friday night entertainment for the loyal home Dutch faithful. Well, they loved every second of that. He's got them to within a few blows of victory and take nothing away from that knock. Outstanding from Vikram Jeet Singh. Yeah. This is played away, going to be played away for four. That's a good shot. It's on top of the bounce. Not many have got close to Sana. Bowls him straight through. Now Sana, well, you have to say he's deserved that. We might see a first bat in international cricket for Lyon Cachet. This is an exceptional delivery. Oh, what a delivery. It's a left arm around the wicket bowling, 140 plus. Has to be. Oh, oh that oh. came back a mile. Unplayable. Oh. All parts of Europe as this one slapped away for four. Can the icing go on the cake? No, it can't. Oh no, you said it's a no-win scenario. The youngster on his debut, he's gone for a first ball duck. Disaster. That is disaster. You've got nothing to win really coming out with one run to go. And uh, he goes for a golden duck on debut. That's a bit of a shame and does sort of spoil the party a little bit. Two and two. Oh, this game. I don't know where Sad Bin <laughs> Safari is going, but they can't catch him. It's only one to win, Sad. 
He could be. Well, he's not going to be on a hat trick. It's his last <laughs> ball. And this is, oh, it's reminiscent of the ODIs. The Dutch sometimes don't make it easy on themselves. He's had to wait a long time for his first appearance. He too is cleaned up. Slip in place. That's Curtin. That is going to be that. They'll win it with a single and a big cheer, particularly from all the kids here. They are delighted. It's Dutch delight yet again. They've played five here on Dutch soil. They've won five and they win by five wickets.